we are starting our automation series with the first one and that will be an automation that is checking your emails validity just making sure that they are actually deliverable that you can actually send emails to people and they will receive it it will not bounce when you're starting your crm you will have a bunch of contacts in your system some people will buy external list to their system some people will collect real people as they go but the bottom line is that over time it doesn't matter if you're buying lists or you're having your own database that you created in a good way over time over time this database is no longer valid some people are losing their jobs some people move positions some people some companies getting closed and eventually the database that you have is no longer valid the main problem behind it is when you deliver emails to those people it might be manually or using automation the emails will bounce the more emails that are bouncing from emails that you're sending basically you are the one who is responsible to your sending emails the credibility of your domain is going down and the deliverability rate will go down to the point that if you're sending lots of messages that are bouncing the world will know that you're a spammer because you don't check the emails that you're sending and as time goes now it's 2022 but as time goes there are more and more boundaries and rules around email deliverability and it's becoming harder and harder to comply with them so making sure that you are not a spammer is a big thing now if you are labeled as a spammer against one of the lists, there are many lists of spammers if you are labeled as a spammer it's a problem because taking you out of the list is a big pain just so you know it so it's worth the time to take action based on this video now we can help you with it or you can use your existing developers to do it for you or you can do it yourself it's not something that we invented and only we know how to do it maybe we just care a little bit more but that's it really now the first thing is if you have your list of people first of all you will export them and the way to export in Zoho, or it can be a, any system, you click on data backup and you just download a set of backup. The backup that you will download will have a zip file with lots of CSV files. One of them will be for your leads and one for the contacts. If you have a solid good system, you will have people only in leads and contacts. And therefore you can take all the email addresses in those two and you can run them through a system that is checking the validity of the emails. In the description below, I will show you the one that we are currently using. We're changing it all the time uh, because we need the best return of investment for those tools, but we will update this link as we go. So right now in the description below, you have the one that we're using, but there are million services out there that can check the validity of the email. So first of all, we will send a company a CSV with all the email addresses they will return to us a CSV with all the emails that are crap and emails that are deliverable all the ones that are not deliverable we are going to check mark them in the system automatically to be a opt-out and this is what you're looking for the opt-out so if this guy for example Morgan Freeman at gmail.com if this one is uh, bouncing I will mark it as opt-out and that means that from that day on I'm not going to deliver any more emails to this person the way that you do it automatically it's when you're sending the CSV to the software company that they are checking the emails they will return to you a new CSV with statuses you will need to go to let's say your contacts you will need to click on import contacts you will click on browse okay you will select the file and then you will click on update existing contacts based on the email or the contact id and then you will just update the email opt-out based on the deliverability 
So if it's deliverable, you don't touch the email opt-out. If it's not deliverable, you will select the opt-out and this email will be gone. And you can expect between 20 to 80% of your database to be in this range, okay? And um, even though it's a lot, those are people that you don't want to send emails to, okay? It's important. So this is step one. Step number two, uh, we create a functionality that is doing two things. One, every time that an email address is being updated in the system, which means on the leads or contacts, we are going to send API to the uh, bounce company just to check if the email that was changed is a valid email. If it's not valid, it will automatically make it opt out in the system. So the manual part of uploading a CSV to the software company and receiving it being done once. Rest from that point on, you will never need to do it again. The second thing is every time that you have a new lead or a new contact, it will also verify against the database and make sure that this email is not really bouncing. The bottom line is over time, as your database changes, you will always have a valid database that you can deliver emails to and that will not bounce okay so that was the auto first automation that i like to discuss in this series uh, i think it's critical especially that where we are right now in 2022 that you know more and more email rules are being passed and i'm pretty sure that at some point uh, companies that are delivering uh, emails that are bouncing will get punished much faster than what it's happening now. So I think it's a very important point. Very soon, I'm going to release more and more videos about automations. All of them will be about automation, the next 10 probably. And those will be the, with different automations that we are providing to our customers and they are very happy with it. So I think it, it will be good automations to share with the public. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.